This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Once again, we're in the studio and I've got more mail to unbox. I've been bass fishing lately, but I haven't been catching any. I think I'm still a bit early, so we're going to have some fun opening the mail. Let's just get right into it. The first piece of mail I have here is from Dave in Dartmouth, N.S. I think that's Nova Scotia, Canada. Here's a note that says, Hi Alex, thanks for all your videos. Here's a mackerel rig I tied. My girlfriend and I use these all the time while fishing in Nova Scotia. Hopefully you can catch a good one. Best wishes, Dave. So here's what he called the mackerel rig. Looks like they're made out of glitter tape and a hook and it's secured by tying it around the shaft of the hook here. Pretty cool. I use a really small version of this to catch skipjack. Next time I'm at the dam, I'll try to remember this. Thanks again to Dave for sending the hand-tied mackerel rig. We'll see, maybe I can get a fish on it. This piece is from Karen in Sugar Hill, Georgia. Here's a letter. It reads, Dear Alex, love the show. My son and I have been watching your channel since the beginning and have a bit of a tradition that as soon as you post a new video, we make sure to watch it before bedtime. Anyway, I have learned so much from your show and really appreciate your realistic point of view. One of the best things I have found from your show is gulp minnows. The enclosed package was unique though. It appears to be marketed for Japan based on the packaging. According to Google Translate, the text says, 400 times diffusion brings outstanding fish collecting power. I just thought it was an interesting oddity to add to your collection, so enjoy. Tight lines, Jason, Sugar Hill, Georgia. Well, I originally said it was from Karen, because that's what's on the return label, but it's actually from Jason, so thank you, Jason. Let's check out the gulp minnows. Here's what he's talking about right here. Well, I hope it does attract more fish because I'm having a hard time right now catching bass, but who knows, maybe a gulp minnow is what I need to try. Thanks again to Jason in Georgia for sending the gulp minnow. I need some 400X diffusion in my life. Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Here we have a package from Richard, and I can't read this handwriting. Looks like New Hampshire though, I'm not sure. Let's see what's inside. Inside we have a note that reads, Hi Alex, hope this letter finds you well. I always enjoy your content and wanted to repay you with a care package. Inside you will find some split shots, some eagle claw spinners, a $1 spinner bait, and a spoiler shad swim bait. I like to peruse the tackle section at Walmart and mix and match parts to create my own unique baits. I'll send you some once I have a real winner. I've been a subscriber for about a year now. I respect your willingness to call out BS gimmicks and BS fishermen when you see them. These days, there are a lot of salesmen, influencers, and gimmicks floating around. We need more folks to keep it realistic. See you in the comment section, Richard. All right, Richard, let's see what we have here. So here are the jig spinners that he's talking about. You can use this with a lead jig head and a grub and make your own beetle spin. Here's the spoiler shad from Cream. This is almost what I was talking about. This uses an attachable spinner just like this, and it's attached to a swim bait and sold that way. Here we have a $1 spinner bait from Walmart. And here we have 
tin removable split shot sinkers. Some people like to use these instead of lead. They are not as heavy. They're kind of harder to put on and remove. But I suppose it's a more eco-friendly weight if you're worried about that. Thanks again to Richard for sending the variety of Walmart baits into the show. Let me know if you construct the Frankenstein Ultimate Fish Catcher. I'll have to check it out. This package is from Brianna at Fish Like a Girl in Texas. Here's a letter. Let's see what it says. Hey Alex, I've been enjoying the show for a while now and really like the mail videos. I appreciate all the time you spend making content for us and all the giveaways you do. I've included some baits for you to try out or give away on the channel. Some are from my collection, some are from the store. Enjoy. P.S. This is the biggest bag they had at my local USPS. Hope you like it. It's fun, right? It's got a bunch of hearts and stuff on it. I like the video where you exchanged baits with a subscriber. Would you mind sending some goodies my way? Thank you. Brianna, fish like a girl. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Holy cow, lots of baits in here. We got some Guggen Baits Kraken Craws. More Guggen Baits. This is a Ned Rig bait called the Rattlin' Ned. Here we have some Imperium Baits Tubes. Never heard of this brand before. That's pretty cool. Here we have some Gobi 3.5 inch from Fanatic Baits. This is a fish, I think, you know, from the Great Lakes area. We don't have these down here, but I bet it could still get a bite. Here we have a package of stick baits from Excite Baits. Here we have a package of plastic worms from Great Lakes. Here we have some live target twitch minnows. This looks like a realistic bait. We have a bag full of various plastic worms, mostly stick baits. Here's a package of Pro Series X Zone Finesse Slammers. So this is kind of like a little drop shot worm. Here we have a package of impact baits, some grubs. Made in Canada, eh? Here's another package of X-Zone. Hey, stuff from Ollie's. We got some salty super flukes in watermelon seed. We got some Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. These look good. Green pumpkin. This one's called Sneak Attack. It's a soft swim jig by Dynamic. Here we go. Here's a head and sonar. I have some very old versions of this. I bet I could get a bite on this. Here we have a package of Matsuo hooks. Just regular bait holders in size one. Here's a package of Crystal Fry Hair Jigs. Here's another package of Jigs. And a mini tackle box with a few lures inside. We have this Live Target style Sunfish Swim Bait. I'm not sure who makes that one. Another soft plastic swim bait, the segmented body. A Weston crankbait and a 
No Name Lipless Crankbait. Live Target something. I forgot what this is called. Bait Ball. Here's a deep diving crankbait. It says Warriors on top. I'm not familiar with that one. Here's another Warriors bait. Not exactly sure what this is. Maybe a Twitch bait of some kind. Hey, cool assortment of stuff. Thanks for sending it into the show. And since you mentioned giving some away, we're going to give it away in your honor. We'll do a little pack of jigs. We'll do a pack of these X zones. What else were there multiples of? The Guggen Baits. We'll give away the uh, Guggen Baits Rattling Ned. And these Great Lakes Plastic Worms. Thanks again to Brianna. Brianna? I'm not sure how to say it. Anyway, thanks to you over there at Fish Like a Girl. Awesome assortment of baits. We got some for a giveaway today, and I would definitely like to send you some baits. Email me, okay? Realisticfishing at gmail.com with your shipping address, and I will gladly send you some baits. This is Brian from Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, this one is from Two Scots Fishing in Delaware. All right, I see a good variety of baits in here, but I don't see a letter. Maybe it's at the bottom. Let's just get into it. Here we have a package of Big Bite Baits Real Deal Shad. That's a unique tail on that, kind of like crawfish claws. Yeah, that's a cool bait. Let's see what else is in here. Here's a Sixth Sense Jig. This is the Sixth Sense Finesse Jig with a screw lock. That's a good looking bait. Here's Baker Lures JLD Series Jerk Bait. Another good looking bait. Here's a Strike King KVD Flatside 1.5. Got a few of these on the wall. That's a good bait. Here's a Bass Pro Shops Tournament Special Crank Bait. Here's another pack of those Big Bite Baits with the unique tail. Here's a package of Vintage Yum. This is the Yum Wooly Beaver Tail. That's a good looking bait. Packaging from a few years ago. I haven't seen this around for a while. Hey, I found a letter. Also some Gulp Minnows in 2.5 inch. The letter says, Dear Alex, hope you are well and handling this pandemic okay. It's trash. I agree, it is trash. I watch the channel daily and it really helps take my mind off things. I know you have a ton of tackle, but I wanted to send you a bit as a thank you. Please use them or add them to your giveaways. Thanks for what you do and keep it realistic. Scott from Two Scots Fishing. Inside the letter was a photograph. This looks like Nikolai Volkov, a wrestler from the 80s. That is a fun picture. It also has a signature, but I can't tell if it's a real signature or if it's a photograph of a signature. It doesn't matter. This thing is cool. Let's pin it up on the board. Thanks again for sending this cool stuff into the show, and thanks for the awesome picture. Oh, and he said... Add some to the giveaway. We'll give away one of these big bite baits. What was it called? Real Deal Shad. We'll also give away the Baker Series JLD Crankbait. This box is from, I don't know, Tackle Warehouse maybe. Maybe it's a dropship. 
I don't remember ordering anything from Tackle Warehouse, so I'm going to assume it's from a subscriber. We have a letter here. The letter says, hey Alex, this is Brian from West Virginia, the guy with the GoPro fishing show. Enclosed our crankbaits for you in the plastic is the Storm Lightning Shed flat side crankbait. They stopped making it around 1999. Out new in 2020 is the Sixth Sense Swim Crank Hybrid Bait. I know you like old school and new stuff as long as they are bite getters. Thought the Tennessee Bass would enjoy these. Also included is a micro SD with a few bumpers to keep it realistic. I put a lot into my show and respect guys like you and TJ81 for example who've blazed the trail. For some reason YouTube chooses not to boost me but I just take it in stride. Anyway, big fan, you've got the meanest hook set on a T-Rig creature bait I've ever seen. Keep up the great work, and looking forward to every episode. Cheers, Brian, the guy with the GoPro fishing show. What's going on, fellas? Tackle Junkie 81 here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Here's a micro SD with the bumpers. If you haven't noticed on my show I do bumpers with other YouTube fishing shows and fans from around the world. He sent me a couple of trailers here. I'll check those out after the show. He also sent me a few baits. Here is the Storm. Yes, here's the Storm he's talking about. Here it is in the box just so you can have a better idea of what he's talking about. This is the old style of Storm that was discontinued. Here's the newer bait. We got the Sixth Sense Hybrid Swim Crank. This looks like a crankbait with a lip and a segmented body and a dressed rear hook. This thing has its Sunday best on. Who knows, might catch a fish though. Thanks again to Brian, the guy with the GoPro Fishing Show, for sending this stuff in. I'll check out your bumpers after the show. Alright, now it's time to get into the giveaway from last week. Oh, before I pick the winner, let's see what's up for grabs. We got a Storm Wiggle Wart, an Arashi Square 5, the Owner Twist Lock Hooks, and the Zoom Swimming Super Flukes. Let's just get into it and pick that winner. Load in the comments here. Let's see how many there are. Still going. 564 comments. That's a lot of comments. Let's line this up so I get it just right. The winner is Fish Love Me Peterson. I've never seen a turtle lure before, but you're right. Anything flashy can work. My uncle once caught a white bass on a cigarette butt. Fish Love Me Peterson, you just won the giveaway. Email me, right? Realisticfishing at gmail.com with your shipping address, and I'll send these baits right out to you. I'm Steve from Bass and Grass YouTube channel, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video to be entered for this giveaway. We got the Wahoo Jigs. We got the X-Zones. We got the Great Lakes. We got the Big Bite Baits. We got the Baker. We got the Googan Baits. All you got to do is leave a comment, be subscribed, and leave a thumbs up, and I'll pick a random winner in a future video. Good luck to everyone in this giveaway. Congratulations again to Fish Love Me Peterson, and thanks to everyone who sent something into the show. Awesome, awesome mail call today. Thanks again, and thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.